Hello guys, welcome to Catfish Army Enterprise. I am Kenneth Odeminam and today we are looking at 10 reasons why catfishes won't eat. Evidence why the catfishes won't eat. Now, the first reason why your fishes won't eat is because the environment is new for them. Now, if there's a change in the environment for the fishes, I bet you they won't be able to eat at that moment. Now, this is essentially when you go to buy your finger lens or juvenile and you transport them from the farm to your new site. Now, at that point, if you try feeding them, they won't eat. That's why most of the farmers will advise you, once you get your fishes, you give them some space or some hours before you feed them. Just to the new environment, they won't be able to eat at that moment. So a new environment will affect how they feed well. Now, on to the second one. Now, if the fishes are stressed, they won't be able to eat. And this stress comes in diverse ways. Now, after you have done sorting, you know the sorting process means you are taking the fishes from the pond, you are bringing them out, you are trying to categorize them into different sizes. Now, after all these processes is completed, you are not expected to feed them immediately because the fishes will be stressed at that point. And also, when you change the water from the pond, now, either you are using the concrete pond, the trampoline pond, the plastic pond, even the head pond. So if you change the water from the pond, now, within the period of water you left the pond and you are putting the fresh water, the fishes are a bit stressed at that point. So you have to give them some time before you feed them. So at that point, you don't feed. If you feed, they won't eat at that point. Now, what will happen if you feed them, you just you waste the feed and also you pollute their water. So don't feed immediately after sorting. So we'll move on to... The next one, why they won't eat, which is the number three, if the water is cold, if the water is very cold, that's why during the Hamatan period, you don't, you see that the response to feeding is a bit low at that period, but the water is very cold, they, they won't be able to eat well. So most times during those period, you don't feed, especially in the Hamatan period, you don't feed very early. You allow the weather to be a bit warm before you feed. So at cold periods, fishes don't eat well at that point so that's the third reason now for the fourth one if the feed is not palatable if the feed is not good now there are, there are various ingredients in the feed that makes the fishes react to a particular kind of feed so if the food is not palatable for them they won't eat you've noticed a lot of persons they say okay i fed my fishes and they are not picking the feed or most times if you notice if you change from a certain product to a different product, you see that their response to that new product will be different. They might not be responding adequately to the new product. So it is they are just telling you that, see, this product you are giving us is not palatable for us because there are various ingredients that make them want to eat well. So go for quality feeds that have good products and it enables the fishes eat well. Now, bear in mind, your fishes are what they eat. If your fishes are not eating, they are not growing. So you must make sure you use good and quality feed to make them grow perfectly well. So we'll move to the fourth one. We have seen the four, four reasons why they won't eat. Now the fifth one is if the fishes are sick. If they are sick, now if they have been attacked by diseases or fungi or any attack that affects the fishes, you see those periods, they don't respond to feeding, they don't eat. So we must make sure you give them the appropriate treatment. After the treatment, when they are okay, then they will respond to feed. So when they are sick, they don't eat. You treat them before you feed them at that moment. So that's for the fifth one. And for the sixth reason why the fishes won't eat, if the water is dirty. Uh, if your water is dirty, they can't eat. That's it's, it's so many issues. You see a lot of persons, they leave their water for a long time. For weeks, and the water is smelling. Now, if the water gets that dirty, the oxygen level in the water will be very low, and the fishes can't eat at that point. So, make sure your water is always 
needs. Good water management helps the fishes to eat well. I was talking to a farmer recently and he was like, ah, after I change my water, the way they respond to feed is excellent. So I tell him that clean water helps the fishes feed well. And once they feed well, they grow well. So that's for the number six reasons why your fishes won't eat well. Now, for the number seven, if maybe the, they, they swallow, like big fishes swallow the smaller fishes, now, they won't be able to eat at that point because the fish they swallow is still at their mouth, so they are still trying to eat it. So at that point, they won't be able to eat any feed you bring to them at, a po at that point. So that are seven reasons why most of the fishes won't eat at a certain time. And also, if the feed has not digested, the eighth reason, if the feed has not digested, they won't be able to eat if your feed has not digested. Now, they have different timings to feed fishes based on their sizes. For the smaller fishes, the, the feeding frequency is higher than that for the bigger ones. So, if you're feeding the smaller ones, you feed them maybe three times per day, and the bigger ones is two times per day. It takes a longer time for the big fishes to digest the food compared to the smaller ones because they don't eat much when they are small. So, you must understand, okay, when did I feed last and when am I feeding next? If the feed they take has not digested, they can't eat the next one. So the next feeding you are doing, you are either wasting the feed or just polluting the water. So you must make sure that the time, the last time you fed them, they have been able to digest the food you gave them before giving them another feed. Now for the ninth reason why the fishes won't eat. If the size of the feed is bigger than the fishes, they won't be able to eat it. Now, I have a video I did on feeding method. So, go to the channel, you see the video of feeding method. Now, it gives you an appropriate guide on a particular size to feed the fishes at a, at a time. So, if the fish are too much, what size of feed am I giving them? If they are this body weight, what size of feed am I giving them? So, this gives you the basic guide to know the size of feed to give to the fishes. So, if the feed you are giving them are bigger than the fishes, you notice that they can't eat. So look for that proper size and give to them for them to eat well. And lastly, if your pond is not well sorted, you have big fishes, you have smaller fishes, you have medium, different sizes of fishes in the pond. Now, when you throw the feed, there will be competition. The bigger ones will tend to start eating while the smaller ones won't be eating. So the small ones won't want to go close to where the bigger ones is because they are afraid not to get swallowed by the bigger ones, so they don't want to go close to eat, so the smaller ones won't be eating. So ensure your pond is well sorted and graded into different sizes. So that's a breakdown of the 10 reasons why most of your fishes won't eat. And I know this will give you a basic guide on how to grow out your fishes properly. So subscribe to the YouTube channel, we have more videos to guide you. Until next time, have a wonderful day.